Today in Apple Motion, I'm gonna show the differences between the clone layer and a duplicate layer. And because we're talking about clones and it's YouTube, of course I have to do the obligatory clone joke. <laughs> And if you want to know how I did that effect, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to cover just that next Friday. So the differences between the clone layer and the duplicate layer are really quite simple. If I hop into motion, I'm just going to create a random shape here. If I push command D, that is going to duplicate the layer. Now, if I move this over, the duplicate is its own independent object. So if I make any changes to this original Bezier curve, they will not transfer to the duplicated object. Whereas if I were to push K, this copy is going to retain any changes we make to the Bezier curve. So if I were to make changes to the Bezier curve here, those would apply to the clone layer. Now using both of these can be super advantageous. You can apply certain effects, like let's say we want to apply the glow effect here to one, and I'll spread out that radius, that clone layer is going to inherit that glow. Or if you want just the clone layer to have the glow, you can apply it just to the clone layer and that will not affect the original layer. Whereas maybe I want independent layers, so maybe I'll put this light rays effect on one. If I push command D, the duplicate layer is going to have its own entity of the light rays effect. So if you want to see the clone layer and duplicate layer used in a real life scenario, I super recommend you check out this video that I made just last week creating a logo animation using Apple Motion. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe because next Friday we are going to punch ourselves in the face using Final Cut Pro.